I didn't tell you that we were going to hit on this one, and we're not going to spend long on it. But uh, but have you guys seen the news about Elon Musk's underground people mover in Las Vegas? Have not seen that. Chris, have you seen it? Yeah, you, well, you texted me and told me that, that we were going to talk about it, and I looked into it. So I, I know about his tunnel a, a, in L.A., and uh, and so, yeah, he's he's willing to build a tunnel to the in new Vegas. state. So the, what they're, the new state. Yeah, what they're talking about is uh, they could possibly link this up from the Las Vegas Convention Center all the way over to Allegiant Stadium. Um, and I think that this is – a fantastic idea. It would get them there in less than five minutes, so you don't have to deal with traffic. You don't have to deal with you know any of that kind of mess. I love this. I feel like every stadium that is located outside of a major city should have something along these lines. This is such a fantastic idea, uh, DJ. I mean, what what are your thoughts here? It's it's a it's an underground train, basically underground. You know, kind of a subway system, uh, but it just moves incredibly faster uh i i think it's awesome like i i love digging into stuff like this uh especially when it can tie into sports one way or another uh tj uh, what do you what do you think here as somebody that has lived for um, all of my adult life uh really in west central florida and we don't really have modes of mass transit it's completely different now if you're interviewing somebody that's in new york it's second nature for them to take oh, trains yeah. and subways to everything they do. I mean, for God's sake, to get to the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, you basically can't drive to it. You have to take the train or the subway to be to, to be able to get into Brooklyn and get into that area. Uh, there's no parking anywhere around there. Now, with the NFL, I can speak to this. In most of the cases for most of the stadiums, they are in a remote part of wherever the town is, and you have to drive more so than being in the metropolitan part uh, of a city, let's say. Some of them are downtown, but some of them are out of the way. In the case of the Vegas one, it's right there off the strip. It's in the hub. So you would almost benefit from something like this. The L.A. one, again, is in the in the property in the area in Inglewood where the Lakers used to play and where they've had horse tracks before. It's kind of a – it's been a rundown area that they're trying to revitalize. But L.A. traffic is such a disaster. Obviously, something like this would be a great solution. So I'm all about saving the peeps. A lot less time, that's for sure. You got that right. And get more people to uh, to the stadiums. That is always a good thing. All right, we'll jump off of that. And, TJ, this is what I really wanted to bring you in for because you know more about this than we do. Uh, obviously, you've got a history with uh, PGA Tour radio and, and all of that. Uh, for anybody that's listening that hasn't heard TJ before, uh, and if you weren't here for the opening of the show, we introduced him then, and we brought him right in. But TJ Reeves, uh, he's the... Sideline reporter for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He hosts the Three Dog Thursday podcast. He does Big Fight Weekend as well, handles boxing, and we'll jump to that here in a minute. But, uh, TJ, you're a jack-of-all-trades. 